Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial I'm going to be explaining the basic concept of a stack data structure. So what is a stack? Well a stack is basically a way that we can store information. And I went ahead and drew a diagram here of what a stack looks like. And basically what we have here is we have five different items and you can think of these as five different nodes and each node contains some data in it and they're just kind of stacked on top of one another and at the very top of the stack the top item is being pointed to by a pointer that we call the stack pointer so basically what we have with a stack is we have two main functions to manipulate it we have the push function which adds an item or some data to the top of the stack or we have the pop function which removes the item from the top. So these are the two functions that we use to manipulate our stack. And notice that they're both doing something to the top of the stack. So if we ever add anything to a stack, we are always adding it to the top. If we ever remove something from a stack, we are always removing it from the top. So adding an item to the stack is called pushing it in removing an item from a stack is called popping the item. So because of these two functions and because they always have to manipulate the top of the stack we call the a stack a last in first out data structure because the last item that was placed on the top of the stack is always going to be the first item removed from the stack because they both manipulate the top. So now that I've covered all the basic concepts of a stack data structure, let's just go ahead and write some pseudocode to build our own stack and just kind of show you how something like this would work. So let's say that we've already written our push and our pop functions, and let's just say that we want to push on the value 1 onto a stack. So this is just going to be pseudocode. This isn't any particular language that I'm doing here. I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes. So my push function is going to basically take the value 1 and place it on a stack. Now for now, we don't really have anything. We don't have any type of stack at this point. So we'll just say that this is our stack pointer. And he's pointing to, let's just go ahead and do it down here. Let's just say our stack pointer is down here and he's just pointing to null right now to begin with. So he's pointing to nothing and then I go ahead and implement this part of my code and it's going to push the number one on the top of the stack. So what's going to happen when I do push one is it's basically just going to create a node and then place the item or the data one inside that node. So then if I wanted to push three, what would happen is my stack pointer would move up to the next location, so it would create some sort of new node here, and then our stack pointer would point to that location, and then we would place the value three into the new node that we created, and now this is the top of the stack. If we wanted to do another push, we could do push 5 if we wanted to. So basically that's just going to create some sort of new node here, move our stack pointer to the next part, and place the value 5 in it. So what happens if we use the pop command? If we did pop, we wouldn't put anything in the parentheses here. We wouldn't be placing any argument in we would basically be returning a value. And so if we were to just do pop at this point, what it would do is it would go find the stack pointer, it would remove the number five and put it somewhere depending on how we wrote our pop function. And then once that's done, it would just delete the top node and move the stack pointer to the new top, to the element below it. So one more pop, would basically remove 3, send it to some part of our program depending on how we wrote our pop function. It would put 3 in a certain location and then we would just go ahead and move our stack pointer 
back down to the location below the top and now this is the new top. So anyway that's the basic concept of a stack data structure. We're always adding and removing from the top of the stack and because of that it is a last in first out data structure and the two things that you normally do with a stack are the push and the pop. A push adds an item to the top of the of a stack and a pop removes an item from the top of the stack and we keep track of the top of the stack by a stack pointer. So anyway, hopefully this was educational for you and uh, soon once I get everything working correctly on my computer as far as screen capturing and audio, I'm going to be making some programming tutorials where you can actually see me code this stuff. So stay tuned for that and uh, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.